With rumors every day that Vince McMahon is high on him and his talents, Andrade Cien almost looks set to be one of the next big wrestlers in the WWE. A man with probably one of the most storied past on the current roster almost is still just 28, but looks set to become one of the most iconic names in the industry. This is Wrestling Origins, and today we bring you the story of Andrade Cien Almas. Andrade was born on November 3rd of 1989. He is the son of Jose Andrade Salas, who is better known as the wrestler Briante. He became part of the third generation of the Andrade family to compete in Lucha Libre. His grandfather, Jose Andrade, wrestled under the ring name El Moro. His father worked under the name Briante. His uncles worked under the name Moro III, Sefiro, Kevin, Espanto Jr., and one of his cousins works as the current Espanto Jr. He made his pro wrestling debut on the 3rd of October in 2003, a month before his 14th birthday. But only after his father signing a waiver for the local boxing and wrestling commission to issue him a license. To honor his father, he began working under the ring named Brianto Jr. In 2007, at the age of 18, Alma signed with one of the biggest Mexican promotions, CMLL. He continued using his father's name but was eventually renamed as La Sombra, or The Shadow. He was given a massive push, being paired up with Mystico. With the original Sin Cara, he won the 2007 Tornero Gran Alternativa. He was a face at this time. He broke records in CMLL, becoming a double champion at the age of 18, holding the NWA World Welterweight title in the Mexican National Trios Championship. He would be a triple champion by 2009, also winning the CMLL World Tag Team title. Almas was the founding member of the historic Los Ingobernables faction that led to Almas transitioning from a face to a heel. He changed his high-flying offense to a more power-based one. He would exit the group in 2015 after disagreements with Rush, the co-founding member. Almas would work for CMLL until 2015. He would also lose his mask in a match against Atlantis in September of 2015 and left after losing to Rush in November of the same year. While in CMLL, he won multiple accolades such as the CMLL Universal Title, Mexican National Trios Title, La Copa Jr., Reyes Del Air, CMLL Tag Team of the Year, CMLL Face of the Year, CMLL Trio of the Year, amongst others. Almas also made appearances in New Japan under his name La Sombra. He participated in the iconic New Japan Pro Wrestling tournament such as Best of the Super Junior Super J Tag League, World Tag League, New Japan Cup, and the G1 Climax. He also participated in the Fantastica Mania from 2011 to 2013. In the 2013 edition, Almas went up against IWGP Intercontinental Champion Shinsuke Nakamura but failed to beat the man. Almas eventually did defeat Nakamura and become the first Mexican to ever hold the IWGP Intercontinental title. He had great rivalries with Jushin Thunder Liger and Mascara Dorada during his run and made an alliance with Naito who would form a faction in Japan. Just two weeks after his 26th birthday, Almas got signed with WWE's developmental brand NXT as Manny Andrade, shortening his real-life first name Manuel. He would have a slow start in NXT as he was first tasked with familiarizing himself with the English language. He debuted at a house show in January of 2016 and would also wrestle at NXT TakeOver Dallas in a dark match. His name was changed to Andrade C and Almas as he would turn heel after attacking tag partner Cedric Alexander. From the end of 2016 to 2017, Almas feuded with the likes of Roderick Strong, Cesar Bononi, No Way Jose, and eventually Johnny Gargano. After defeating Gargano at first, Almas would defeat Drew McIntyre and become the NXT Champion. His defense of the NXT title in NXT TakeOver San Antonio led to WWE getting their first 5-star rating from Dave Meltzer in 7 years, and it also became the 6th WWE match to be given that rating. Almas would drop the title to Aleister Black and be called up to SmackDown. Almas has yet to do a lot on SmackDown, but he has been given good and competitive matches against top stars like AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. He had a mini feud with Sin Cara which he won decisively. His only feud of note came against Rusev in which Almas and his longtime on-screen manager Selena Vega went on to defeat Rusev and Lana on the SummerSlam pre-show. Almas will definitely become a champion in the WWE. He is a work-rate monster who can wrestle any style. He can provide a Matt Clinic, a violent and powerful match, or even a high-speed and high-action match. He and Zelina Vega can make two of the more interesting characters on the active roster due to their unique look and dynamic. The sky is the limit for Almas, and the 28-year-old may just go down in the annals of sports entertainment as one of the greats. And this was Wrestling Origins on Drade C and Almas. I hope you're all having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching Wrestling Hub, and I'll see you later with more videos.